Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, and today we're looking at motor service factor for electric motors. This is an important thing to understand to limit overload in your motor. At eMotors Direct, we're committed to reducing the time spent on sourcing motor replacements. Ever felt the frustration of back orders? Struggled to find the alternatives or waited days for a simple supplier quote, leaving your production line idle? If that resonates, reach out to our passionate team at eMotors Direct. We're here to help you get some time back in your day. So what is the service factor on a motor? This is the percentage of overloading that the motor can handle for short periods of time when operating within the manufacturer's correct voltage rating. The service factor calculation is straightforward. For example, if the motor has a service factor of 1.15, this will allow the motor to put out 15% more power when overloaded for short periods of time. The key here is occasional overload, not continuous overload. If your motor has a service factor of one, you can run your motor to 100% load. However, motors are most efficient when they run at only about 75% of the rated load. The service factor is there to make room for oversights in the predicted horsepower needed, handling the occasional overload. It also allows for times when the ambient temperature is above the rated 40 degrees Celsius or when the supply voltage is unbalanced. A service factor enables the motor to operate below the maximum load so that it can run continuously with a cooler winding temperature, extending the life of the motor and increasing reliability. Can you overload your motor continuously? No electric motor is 100% efficient. The motor will always lose some energy in the form of heat. An increase in load will result in an increase in current and this will in increase the temperature of the motor. And with each 10 degree increase in temperature, the lifespan of the motor is cut in half. Operating your motor at service factor continuously could cause increasingly inefficient use of energy, insufficient starting or operating torque, bearing failure due to overheating, or winding and insulation failure due to overheating. Continuously operating your electric motor at the service factor rated load will reduce the motor's speed and efficiency and ultimately reduce the motor's lifespan. When I say occasional overloading or short periods of overload, this leaves some room for interpretation. What does that actually mean and how long and how often can you overload the motor for? The National Electrical Manufacturers Association or NEMA, reference to intermittent, is not clearly defined. The best approach here is to conduct temperature monitoring of the motors that are overloaded within the service factor. If the motor approaches or exceeds insulation design temperatures, then the load should be reduced. Important to mention, if your motor is driven by a VFD, the service factor will always be one, regardless of the service factor on your motor nameplate. This is because the VFD creates the additional heat for the motor. I hope this helps you maintain the life of your motor. Have follow-up questions? Leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get you an answer. Thanks to everyone who's been following along with our video so far. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when we release the next episode. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's electric motor supplier. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.